I'm Captain Jim Klein and we're fishing out of the Cattaraugus Creek and this year board I fish charters this morning and we were out walleye fishing we're just beating in a storm so I'm here with Ken and we're talking about our I fish lure uh, it's our, what our charter is named after also and it's a lure that we just got patented and we were just awarded a patent a couple weeks ago and it all revolves around the weight. Um, this is a plastic spinner blade. It's a willow blade, but it's plastic. And the weight controls the speed of the spin. So it's <clears throat> very unique that the willow blade can actually spin slower than a Colorado blade. So what that enables you to do is troll these willow blades along with your stick baits that might troll at two plus miles an hour, two and a half miles an hour and with because they're plastic the way we decorate them is there's a label that's inside the plastic and we insert it inside the injection mold so the all the graphics you see on the willow blades are all molded into the blade so there's no peeling paint or chipping or scratching then the graphics that come on the back there's uh, copper silver gold and they're all holographic so when we apply the hot stamping process to the back of the blade, it shines through the front of the blade creating this holographic image that you have with the colors and they really sparkle when you throw them off the side of the boat in the sun. They've been real fish catchers for us. Originally we just wanted to take the blade and copy a willow blade and create a plastic willow blade. But as we learned between the weight differences and everything else, we couldn't get it to spin properly. So we started adding small weights around the blade and we said, well, we're on to something. So that's how we got onto the, the ball and the ball controlling the speed and the placement controls the speed and there's different weights we tried. So it really took a while. Well, we were at it about two years before we came out with our first ones. And we've been, uh, it's been about three and a half years now that we've been using them and, and all the charter captains in this area and walleye guys are using them. Uh, it's been extremely popular. This, this is what a worm harness looks like. Uh, they typically come in, uh, you know, all flavors of shades of colors, and but it's typically two or three hooks, and it's this happens to be on a stainless steel wire, 30-pound wire that's coated with a nylon coating, so that as the blades spin, it doesn't wear through the wire. It gives it a little bit more longevity. It also has a 35-pound swivel up in the front, so. Um, they can spin underwater, and if you have a swivel on the front, it won't tangle your line. You don't need a swivel on the line. So, but that's your typical worm harness. Typically, uh, we're located in the Buffalo area, and typically, uh, all the tackle shops locally have them this year for the first year, and they've been selling really great on their own. I was a little nervous because when I sell them, I'm at a trade show and I have a te test tank there, and people are able to see it. So I was very curious on how they were going to fare in the tackle shop on their own and what we have is <clears throat> we have sort of unique packaging with ours also they'd be hanging in the store th on the hooks this way and what we do is we take these plastic labels and we put them inside the Ziploc bags and we put a grommet through it so then when the when you get this home you take and flip them over and you take this wire ring and put it through the grommets and this acts as your bait file on the boat. And another nice thing is on the labels, they all have different numbers on them. So if you happen to lose one, all you need to do is look at your bait file and say, oh, I had a 34 or I lost my 61. And that makes it easy to replace for us. And so guys are really liking the whole storage system of this also.